Hello everybody, welcome to game number three of Imp Knobs for Dim. Up against Old World Alliance this time, uh, with a tree unfortunately. The tree is obviously super annoying. Um, the rest of the team is a bit annoying, right? They've got they've got a uh, they've got even that even though their dwarves are fake dwarves are still quite tough. They've got a couple of block players, three probably three block players. And they've got a catcher and stuff. Like they're not as bad as as you'd think, but like they're still bad. Oh, I thought the imp knobs had won the toss then. I was like, I thought they were over. But I'm the imp knobs, of course. <laughs> of course I'm the imp knobs. Uh, I don't know whether they kick or receive actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've both got eleven players. Will I beat him up? He'll probably beat me up. He's got a tr like his tree's annoying as hell. I guess I've got to receive and hope that if I bash him, he'll concede. I guess that's the most important thing. He's just bash him and hope he concedes. I think it, I thought he said eleven. Flipping tree. I didn't save the offense last time. Okay. He's the ball carrier. His goblin's in danger. That's a shit offensive to save, but never mind. I guess I can stick a line on the tree. Eh? Oh, I'm kind of letting him hit the ball here a bit. I don't really care about the ball. Where we're going, we don't need balls.
Well, hey, rooted. Rootin' tootin'. Where's his Slayer? turn two so we can keep him out there for now it's a bit of an option good fuck you and your aviate ha <laughs> prick Like all oh, the lions, I don't, you know, I don't think they're a very good team or flavorful or anything. But at least there's something different about them, right? They've got trees and dwarves and stuff. Whereas, yeah, knobs are just like, then why aren't, why isn't this just a human team? It's just literally just a human team. It's so weird. It's so weird that there's just nothing about it at all. Yet for some reason it's a team. Right, he's gonna scoot scoot round the back. Falls down the sideline here. It's not going to be pretty, but should be doable, I think. Maybe it isn't. Full instant dicing. At least the apple worked. At least he's given me hits. Trap into one deep out, of course.
Good. Because I do the one leading. Not terrible. I would have liked to have been out bashing him a bit more, but at least my apple worked here. Good. Turn five isn't great, is it? Got a guard about coming around the back a little bit. Don't really want to skull here. I guess I can re-roll it. Eh? <laughs> yes, how are you? Yeah, yeah. That's the problem with blood ball, isn't it? It is very, it's very look intensive. Like monumentally look based. Because, like, although, like, none of us have, like, really tried to get really good. Like, you know, in the same way as, like, you know, say footballers train, right? They don't just play, like, you know, like, somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo, he hasn't just played football all his life, has he? He's done, like, you know, he's actively trained to be better at football, hasn't he? Like, no one's really done that with blood ball but we've played a lot <laughs> we have played a lot a lot of us have played a lot and uh, and so like we're not terrible right like we're not as good as we're not as good as if say Magnus Carlsen would be if he had dedicated his life to being the best blood ball player ever but but all the same, it's still kind of stupid how easy it is to lose. <laughs> oh man, what the hell is happening here? I've got no idea. Maybe I can bust through the middle here. Let's see if this is a power. Two, three, four, five, six. Ball can go there. He's 
it's GFI. Right, so he's got. You can dodge him around and you can get a 1D on 3 plus. Not a lot I can do to stop that, is there? I guess I could uh, dodge and double GFI. I mean, I've got a reroll that I can use. Just a one, isn't it? But it does put him right on the sideline, which is pretty good. Then obviously powering him would be great. I can re-roll this as well, can't I? Maybe I should have trapped the catcher on the sideline. Like I'm asking my uh, guy to be surfed there, aren't I? Whereas, yeah, maybe I should have hit the catcher just because then that stops the chance of the. Well, that stops. Greatly reduces the chance of the uh, they can get served. Yeah, yeah, I probably should have pip punched the catcher. That's a way to lose, isn't it? Getting him served and cast. Yeah, I should have hit the catcher. Hmm. And then that would have used the Blitzer's action as well to hit him. Instead of having a movement 7 block guy into play. Just have to play ever more conservative. Ford to serve him back. It's turn seven, so probably not. Blitz him and then make the cage up there. That seems pretty good. It's not that good though, is it? It's a lovely power. We can uphill for a 2D on the ball essentially, so I think I have to do this. <sighs> Shouldn't have passed it all out, should I? Because that revealed the game. The, the, that revealed the player to him. <laughs> Yeah. 
Getting some real value off my uh, sneaky kid, aren't I? I mean, I'll get more value when I've got a reserve. Okay, so he can block him. Should have given this goblin mighty blow, he's just a killer, isn't he? SPP one. Maybe don't put him on the LOS. Yeah, green skin imp knobs, just for Dimmy. Chaos stays out. And he, that does put him down to 10, doesn't it? 3, 6, 10, yeah. I can't believe my witch elf died in error PP. <laughs> Flip me, man. I knew she would die as well, but I guess she helped me get the draw. It's a lot of gold to pay for a win. Uh, draw qualification. So I'm on 20. So if if Danton beats Eliod, um, then potentially I can top the division and touchdown difference. <laughs> if Elliot loses his last game too. I can just do a uh, chevrons, eh? Got a man up. A one man advantage. Putting all three guys on the tree was a bit stupid, wasn't it? 
realize in retrospect. So now, so the way error BB works now is if Danton draws or loses versus Eliod, then winning my next game will get me a second seed. Which I'd rather be second seed to maybe face Eliod in the final. Would be quite good, wouldn't it? And whatever happens, Danton's probably qualified. Top three. And I am top three. And Elliot is top three, obviously. I should be on 22 uh, with that Skaven game. Flip me. But I was also unlucky, to be fair, in the Skaven game. Man, it's really bad just not knowing when it's your turn. In like 40 seconds. With my opponent's time totally wasted. Well, he got a uh, he got lone. Like we do have a fair amount of block, don't they? They're just like a human team. Really. They're a human team, like almost the same as a human team, right? The Blitzer and the Troll Slayer and the Blitzer, instead of like four Blitzers. And then a tree instead of an ogre. And then a catcher, just the same. The throw is worse, but... No, it's not. The throw is exactly the same, isn't he? The throw is exactly the same, yeah, yeah. So he's just got a human thrower. No, he's, he's worse PA. He's 3 plus P instead of 2 plus P. I knew he was worse. So the slightly worse thrower. And a catcher. Like, they're not terrible. Like, these humans aren't terrible. But they are basically just worse than uh, humans. And at least they're not mobs, yeah. Like, it's pretty hard to be excited about them. Yeah, like, humans aren't good, and these are worse than humans. But they're not, like, the worst team ever or anything. Not being the worst team ever isn't exactly a selling point, is it? But hey. I want to blitz him into there and then get a big foul on him. But I'm not sure that's worth doing. to get like away from the tree that was my thinking by doing that <laughs> just worse for you yeah but at least like you know at least at least oh we're being worse humans you know like there's some flavour right with the dwarves and the halfling and the tree like at least there's something about them whereas whereas imp knobs are just literally worse humans and they're the same their fluff is the same as humans they're old world chaps like their star player is Griff who's always been a, a, just a human star player it's so fucking weird it's so weird that that's what they did Fucking thick skull guy now, do I? So my fouling, my fouling plan is gone. I 
<laughs> just let me just let me go for a one day on the ball. Okay then. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> My ball, dickhead. <laughs> oh, glorious. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? That's great. Just random. <laughs> random dodge power removal pickup. I mean, I've given the ball to his Slayer, which is pretty decent, I guess. Harder to one day in, though. Insanity dancing. I rolled a power once, didn't I? This, these sign, what's this sign shit? Is it birds? Sprites, is that meant to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. game plan just being destroyed by this tree and me not wanting to uh, you know idiotically put all of my players on it Maybe I should have gone in that turn. Protect that guy from the 2D. Mm, looks pretty good now, doesn't it? Fairies. Yeah, something like that, isn't it? Gaping hole. Oh my god, he gets the he gets the loner. There had just been a massive gaping hole in his line. Instant 2D on the ball. Look at dog. I, I love it when people do random stuff like that, just a one in nine, just to basically lose. Like, what are you playing at? What are you actually playing at? Brov. I could blitz this guy, couldn't I? And then, uh... Do things like from there.
I think it's hard for him to dodge, isn't it? If he uh, with this ball carrier. Do I re-roll these? Do I base him? Yeah, I've got to base him. Maybe I should have put the blitzer there, right? Because he can uphill with block. And he couldn't have really uphill against not block. With not block. So maybe I maybe messed that up. But, but I wanted the faster player on the edge. Hey! It's an instant death. Just fucking about with his one and nines again. Dead, dead, dead. Apple fails. Concedes. You win. Wonderful. <laughs> Fua. Don't get the extra touchdown though. That's that is the annoying thing about concedes in this system, isn't it? You lose out on the SPPs that you could have got. I think I'm just gonna go block. I think I'm just gonna make like a good team. Do I go? Do I? Maybe I go guard, guard, then my. <laughs> if only they had two broken guns. Let's go guard. Oh, having a mighty blow up blitz with every turn is pretty nice, isn't it? No, I need guard. I need guard. We don't care about mighty blow. We care about guard. Orcs. Orcs guarding. Guard, guard, guard. Block guard. Troll. Troll's got the mighty blow. Good. Right, there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. The ball carrier Muppet is just whoever needs SPPs. <laughs> yep.